Okay, Max here. Today is the day. So let's go out and talk to some people. See how it goes. I'm gonna get my gonna go to the Dollar Tree, get some candy, maybe go to some geek stores. Talk to the people. Get out there to the people. See what they're thinking about movies and entertainment. See if they're happy about movies right now. See if they're happy about the strike being over the writer's strike. See what they think about all this woke conversation that is monopolizing geek culture online. Take it to the streets to see what real people think. Now, are there real people online? Yes, there are. But are they always being genuine? Hmm, I don't know. They're catering. They're shilling for a narrative. There is, in my opinion, there is my Blockbuster shirt. Time to get out the lanyard and the shirt. And yes, I there's an Easter egg. I have another one that's Blockbuster and an N64 shirt. So let's keep the energy high. Let's have some fun. And I can't wait to see the creator. I'm getting ready. Come with me. Please show support by liking this video, sharing it, subscribing if you haven't already. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about entertainment and MME goes worldwide. Wait till you see, wait till you see. Okay, uh, first stop, I did speak with my pal Josh while we were checking out, but there, because there was a line, I didn't want to record him. I don't want any customers getting upset that we're talking instead of servicing. So I will be talking to employees but we did actually talk about, uh, just to give you a synopsis of what we were talking about, we're saying, I said, what would get you back to the theater? Because I'm like, do you go to the movies? He's like, nah. It would, it would need something to be groundbreaking, like Avatar, like groundbreaking special effects. And that's a lot of what I've been saying. So I told him my channel name. I said, if you want to talk anytime and you're not working about nerd stuff, come on. He's like, okay, maybe. <laughs> I'll be honest, he said, maybe, which is good. Getting the word out there about MME, and I will be, I'm really trying hard to get people on camera. I just don't want to go to the point where it interferes with their work as well. I want to be respectful. Uh, so I'll go to the next store, see if I could get some people on camera um, talking about the current state of the movie industry. Uh, maybe if someone's walking around the street, I'll ask if they have time to answer a few questions. Um, because this is important stuff. He also, we also talked about automation, um, and yet he's, he he agrees that it's a concern, that it's a that um, it, it can affect a lot of people. So, good good start, uh, but we need to do better. All right. So, don't let up on me. You know, we'll get there. All right. So I'm going to one of my favorite stores here, the Exchange. This place does really well with physical media, so I have some questions for them. Hey, I'm joined here with a, a great worker, great workers for the exchange. Uh, some questions about yeah. the movie industry and physical media. Um, you might not know, but like Best Buy and Target, they're um, they're not have carrying physical copies as, as much, but I see your store does pretty good. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well... <sighs> what, what do you think makes a difference here? Personally, I think... We, since we carry a lot of um, used media as well, like older stuff, uh, a lot of people like to come around to grab that. Um, people that value physical media more so will begin to shop at stores like ours, um, bigger stores like Walmart, Best Buy, Target, those places like that. It's just all about corporate profit for them. They, yeah. They're just bringing in whatever is new and gets all the money. Um, we, we do all right um, with the physical media sales. We're definitely not as good as it used to be. Oh, really? Uh, it has people, dipped a yeah, little bit? A lot of people are moving to digital, but we're still we're still doing all right out here. Um, with movies, it, it can be uh, pretty hit or miss with movies, actually, because we don't always get the newest movies in. Okay. Um, music and video games still do pretty well. A lot of people are shopping vinyl records. So um, that that's where you see the difference. It, and that's, yeah. that's what my channel focuses on movies. So I'm like, what could get people back? Um, what do you think about them? Have you seen? Do you still go to the movie theater too, or do you uh, now that I, I streaming? To. Definitely not as much as I used to, because just because I haven't been interested in as much coming out. Is it the quality? Is it the? 
special effects or the story? Um, is it bad or is it... I, I would just say it's it's about the the movies that have come out. I mean, I also personally, I just don't really have much time anymore. I'm, I'm working yeah. a lot. So it's uh, easy, more convenient streaming? Um, definitely more convenient. I would say the experience is not nearly as good as going to the theater, especially for certain movies like uh, the quickest example I can think of is the Batman last year that came out. That got you. movie in theaters. Um, definitely a movie I told people that like that's one you gotta see in theaters just because it seemed to be made for theaters. The cinematography was done very well. Um, Oppenheimer was one that I missed actually. I, I saw to see that, that in theater, theater and I didn't get I'm to. I'm going to see the creator after I interview people today. Yeah. That looks um, great. But yeah, there, there's tons of good movies. I mean, there's always like those event level movies that get people to go to the theaters like Spider-Man No Way Home, stuff like that people, that get people really excited. Um, I still think movie theaters have a lot of value. I am. <laughs> you would like to go to more if you have time. I, I would love to, yeah. If, if they close down like all movie theaters just out of nowhere, I would be very upset. I'd be pretty sad about that. Um, in terms of buying physical media, personally, I like to. I actually do my movies all digital as well. Oh, you do? Um, what about yeah. video games? Video games, I do like to have physical if I can. I try to do that um, every time it's possible. It's pretty easy to do here because I can get a discount on the used stuff. So it's a little bit cheaper for me, but um, you know, sometimes there's like really good digital sales and mm -hmm. stuff like that uh, on the PlayStation Store, Switch eShop, stuff like that, uh, where you can get digital stuff very easily. Xbox pushes digital a lot harder than the other two companies do actually, like with PlayStation and Nintendo, uh, with the Xbox Game Pass, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of good games on there. Um, and it's it's pretty cheap, like 17 bucks a month, which isn't bad for honestly the amount of games you're getting. Mm -hmm. I have two somewhat controversial, not my opinion, but online, there is a, I don't know, maybe you can, would you hold the mic? That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, online, there's a big concern about entertainment and woke being forced in. That's not my opinion. This is what monopolizes the online. Do you have any comment on that? Do you see that? Or do you think um, that if you get into the real world, do people really have an issue with that that you see? Uh, I think some people have an issue with it. I I typically don't really have much issue with it. I, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to talk about that. Too oh, that's much. Um, I, I respect your opinion. But yeah. uh, no, don't but, worry. Yeah, it's not really something that bothers me too much. Um, obviously, it, it can be overdone. It's something that can be overdone. But uh, for the most part, I, I think they're trying to send good messages with this stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't. The Barbie movie had tons of oh, a lot I saw... of. Uh, that was one of my favorite this year. Mess yeah. Messaging for. Uh, for women for progressive, and men, actually, progressive, progressive, uh, progressive messaging that I thought was really well. I yeah. did like that movie a lot. Well, that that's um, yeah. I didn't want to get you into something you didn't want to talk about. Oh but, no, no, it's but okay. I, I just, but I, I thought because because I'm also at work too, so I don't want to like. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Like, exactly, kind of exactly. You you have to be neutral mm -hmm. with, in customer. I'm a customer service too. In my my regular job, so I understand. Yeah. Uh, but it's monopolizes the online talk, so I was just thought. Okay. Yeah, no, I um. Well, I mean, that's that's all I I. Appreciate you. Oh, there, there was one more superhero mm. fatigue. Maybe you could talk about that because mm. a lot of my friends online are like, I was up to Infinity War and Endgame. You saw, you saw the Batman. Yeah, I've actually. Are you still interested I, in superhero this, movies, this, or do you have a fatigue? This question I can definitely answer okay. better for you because um, I was very big into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I do love superheroes. I love Star Wars, pop culture. I'm all, I'm into yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, I have been hit hard with fatigue on that kind really? of stuff. Really? Yes, okay. Um, because Endgame was one, was, was a big, big stopping point. Like, that ended, and then I was like, okay, kind of fell off a little bit. They brought me back. They've, there's been some good stuff, of course. Like, I love Spider-Man No Way Home. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse was terrific. Um, the Batman was very good. There's been the Suicide Squad. There's been good stuff, but there's been more so on the Marvel side. Yeah. There's just been a lot of stuff that seems to be churned out. See, I'm a DC fan um, and a, a Snyder bro, if you know what that is. Yeah. No, I, I loved the Snyder cut. I thought okay. that was pretty good. Well, um, so DC, are you? What are your thoughts there? But now that'll be the final question. Uh, James Gunn, do you trust in James Gunn? I do trust in James Gunn because so far he has not uh, okay. disappointed me with any of his movies. I loved Guardians of the Galaxy three, and I also love the Suicide. The Suicide Squad is actually currently my favorite DC movie. Oh really? Um, okay. That it's up there with uh, the Batman and. I want to say Zack Snyder's Justice League, but if it was like maybe an hour shorter than it is, I, okay, I you're hurting my heart. Through. You're hurting my heart. Um, okay, but yeah, I've, I've definitely had a big fatigue on that. Same thing with Star Wars too. There's just been a lot of disappointing Star Wars content. Um, I'm not caught up hey. on the Ahsoka show, but I do like oh, the Ahsoka I, show. I highly recommend. Um, it. Yes, I love the Mandalorian season one and two. I didn't really like three too much. Yeah, the Boba Fett show is. 
pretty bad and the Obi-Wan show was not terrible but definitely disappointing. I thought it would be better than what we actually got. Okay. So Wow, yeah, you got I think there's some fatigue going on with that kind of stuff. Fair. Especially with anything that's on Disney Plus, honestly. Disney Plus has been a pretty tough platform to get behind watching stuff on. But Okay. Well honestly, fair I can't even think of anything Marvel that's coming out that I'm excited for. Oh uh, well I'm going to go see the Marvels too, but I I also review movies, so mm -hmm. that's going that, I do want to see it though. I'm excited. Yeah. No, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll probably end up watching it. I'll, I'll probably wait for Disney Plus, honestly, because like okay. I said, I don't get out to the theater very often anymore, yeah. except for like the biggest stuff to go see. Um, I saw Across the Spider-Verse twice because that's really one that. that my favorite um, of the year. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get the Blu-ray of that one pretty soon. But, well, thanks a lot. You've yeah, been you no made problem. my job easy today. Oh, no so uh, go suppose you... <laughs> <laughs> go support uh, stores like this because I've been yeah. shopping here for like 20 years i don't know oh, yeah we've got we've got tons of great stuff if anybody yeah. wants to stop oh there. and I'm, I'm probably gonna shop after yeah i'm gonna look around after to see if there's anything cool i missed so i uh, wish you guys the best Thank i'll you. be around <laughs> hope this is all right uh so thanks again okay so that was great isn't he awesome i forgot to get his name um shout out because he had a name tag but it was down i didn't see it um, I should have asked that. I I really apologize. That's on my, on me as a as a as I'm new interviewing. I should ask. Do you want your name on on YouTube before I start recording? But I might have to upload this as part one because that was so lengthy. I got a lot of good questions. The only question I forgot, and I was gonna have a notepad, was um, the question about automation and AI, and then the strike. But other than that, we covered a lot of bases. And I didn't record, but I actually found two things in there. Uh, for one, uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Really, really cool for $3. Uh, you know, can't beat that. I've never seen this, and it has James Woods. I know Perp's going to say good pickup. And then I also found a really good edition of uh indiana jones more on that later maybe 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 i'm not sure all right so let's go to the next store let's talk to, let's see how many more people we could get on camera i still need to get to the theater and i gotta charge my phone i'm very happy with the results so far there's been a few people who have been walking by but everyone seems to like look at the ground i I got to get better at approaching people in a nice way to say, you know, I want to talk to you about a few things. I want to talk about entertainment. You like entertainment? You like blockbusters? All right. So uh, please show your support with the video and we'll see what else we could come up with today. All right. I'm heading into Miller's Crossing, Fleet Teak. Uh, they have VHS, a lot of uh, retro stuff in here think it'll be fun hopefully I could talk to somebody hopefully I find something we'll see okay so here's some VHS um, they do have Top Gun back to the future oh that's that is DVD Siren Night Fever E.T. Roger Rabbit The Doors let me see this one Oh, look at this. Power Rangers Megazord. That's pretty cool. Here's some cool uh, Nerf guns and Dracula. Um, I'm not sure. I found some glasses, but I'm not going to get up too much here. Um, unless I find something that I'm really not, that's really amazing. I kind of like this Jelly Belly dispenser. Let me see. 11.50. I'm not the end for 11.50. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here's some VHS, and I think they have. Uh, let me see. Oh, Aaron Brockovich, Full Metal Jacket. Um, I'm looking at that Happy Gilmore down there. I gotta check that out. Here we go. Richard Simmons, Dance Your Pants Off. <laughs> Four dollars. It's sealed. It's a sealed VHS. No one used this one. 
Ooh, look at this. Uh, Superman mug and glass and ice cube tray. Fifteen dollars. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to pass. All right. I'm joined here by an awesome employee at this great uh, Fleetique store, Miller's Crossing Fleetique. I just have some questions about um, their store and entertainment. You have a lot of retro entertainment here. Uh, yeah, we do. We have uh, pretty much everything from the beginning of recording. They 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 have some VHS. I got this for a dollar or two. Great. I got some glasses. Um, I focus a lot on movies. Do you still go to the movies, the um, theater? I do. It's one of my favorite pastimes, actually. Oh, really? Um, okay. I used to go so often that the staff knew me, and I'd roll up with a pillow, and they would just let me hang out all day. Oh, really? Well, that's great. You, so you still frequently go? I haven't gone in a while. Okay, because they've been suffering a little bit, and you know, the, like, the strike going on. Yeah. What would get you back to a movie right now? Like, what type of movie? Or is there anyone that you're like, I might want to see that in the theater, like... Because like it seems like Hollywood's run out of ideas and they're just oh really they that's this is the kind of answers we want yeah. yes it's not doesn't feel unique enough no what about like Barbie or Oppenheimer those are two recent successes I want to see Barbie uh, not because like it's a particular interest just because everybody I've talked to says it's great so uh, I saw it it's I was my viewers actually made me see it. I was like, I don't know if I want to see it. It was really good. You see, these are the kind of like feedback that I'm getting that makes me want to go. But... Okay. What about superhero movies? Are I'm you tired of them? Yeah, I'm very. Oh, tired. that's what I'm. Oh, can, could you mind holding? No, no, no. Okay. So this is the main thing I've been getting from a lot of people I've been interviewing today. Superhero fatigue is real. Do you like superhero movies? Oh, you just I, I love superhero movies. It's just nothing seems unique enough anymore. No, and like the Marvel universe is so convoluted now. Oh like really? With the multiverse and Yeah, I don't want to watch all these different movies and like they came out in different times and I have to figure out which one to watch first to understand this and that one. And it's just It's just not worth it. That's I I these are good good responses this is what i'm getting from a lot of people because i'm i'm in a bubble with my friends online we talk about this we just know about all the stuff but yeah. that's what's happening so maybe some other genre is gonna or take like over superheroes that aren't like overplayed like uh the tick i i want more of the tick the tick the tick yes. oh i they cut it off <laughs> after two seasons and oh yeah i've heard more. it's good yeah yeah but, uh, what know. about dc because I'm a DC fan, it's and I, I'm my heart hurts. Yeah. DC um, is not interested at all if, because. I, I mean, I love DC, but what they did to Batman with Robert Pattinson kind of kills me. What? What? You didn't like it? He's just very sad and depressed. And oh, he's too emo. He's too emo. <laughs> he, we went too into like the sad, sad boy. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, that thanks for your responses here. Go check out this awesome store. Um, how long have this store been here? Uh, five years. Now. Five years? Okay. My wife loves it here, so we're going to come back okay. quite frequently. I found a few good things there. Okay. So thanks for your help. Yeah. And that really helps me out, so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Okay, I'm at the theater, but it is raining, so I don't know how much I'm going to get. Um, I don't want to bother anyone on the phone or anything, so um, I'll wait here a few minutes see if I could get some people's reactions, why they're going to the theater, what they're interested in, what they think of the, uh, the industry and, and superhero fatigue, which is a huge topic today. If I can't get, um, not many people stop by, I will probably go to Rocket Fizz, which is a cool shop. Um, maybe, maybe. Okay, I'm joined by a movie patron. She just saw Blue Beetle. What did you think? too bad i'm really not into the whole dc comics that's more my dad's thing i just come to watch my dad <laughs> oh okay do you like other like marvel do you like marvel no not really a superhero type but okay thing. but you but you enjoyed it oh there's one of those yeah those. i know those things are oh, like all sorry over sorry the place. uh i'll get it for you oh we got it <laughs> they're everywhere lately. they're everywhere that, that's like the third one that's been on me since i like um, sat down <laughs> So is this the first? Have is this this first time you've been to the theater in a while? I'm trying to find out what what's getting people to the theaters because they've been struggling a little bit. Oh no, we've actually been coming back to the theater since after the pandemic. Really? Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, what's your favorite you've seen this year? I saw Barbie off. The, I'm going to see the creator tonight. Um, I'm going to have to say that the new Maverick. The new Top new Gun, yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, I really like... That's the type of movies I'm into. My dad's into the DC comics. I'm okay. into the action oh. and... <laughs> I'm into the action and horror movies. Action He's, and horror? Yes. Which, what horror movies coming up really interest you? Is there any... I, 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 I want to see The Nun 2. The Nun 2? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, the horror, horror fans are consistent. <laughs> <laughs> they they go see everything, you know. Yes, I I, I love horror, the, the, but the, the thing fandom is, is pretty good. But the thing is, I have to see mainly most of the horror form films by myself because my dad doesn't like them and my okay. boyfriend doesn't like them. I'm, so. I'm, <laughs> I'm new to horror. Uh, I my friends online because we talk about movies online, mm -hmm. and they try to get me to go to a horror movie, so I'm I'm open to it, <laughs> but I'm not. Yeah. Um, this. Have you? I've, get, I've been talking to a few people today, and they've been saying, and it's interesting because you saw Blue Beetle, they've been saying they've been having some superhero fatigue. Do you feel any of that? Because there's so many superhero movies in the last few years. Yeah. Like I said, I've, I've seen pretty much all of them with my dad, and I'm I'm just not. They're just not unique because my wife, my wife won't even come with me anymore. She's like, I'm done. Yeah. They're not unique enough. Yeah. But yeah. I, I did enjoy Blue Beetle. Yeah, yeah. Blue Beetle was it was pretty good. Yeah, but. But do you, if you go see a movie, is the, what what do you think is the reason people aren't going to the theater as much? I know you are, and your father and your boyfriend, but what do you what do you think it's not because they the been price the price? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I mean it. Today it was five dollars for the for Blue Beetle today. Yeah. So that's oh, the five dollar favorite. Yes. That's I like a bargain. Yes. I like. But a I mean, most of the time it costs like thirty dollars or something like that for me and my yeah. dad to just to go you know in to I see got? the movie. Yeah. I got the AMC A list because I'm also doing more reviews on my channel, mm -hmm. and it's I like today I'm seeing the Crater IMAX and I didn't have to pay anything twenty two <laughs> bucks a month. It was so it's I hope they keep that going, but yeah, it could be very. <laughs> Very expensive. Um, what about? Have you heard about the writers and the actor strike? Oh yeah. Do you support them, or I mean, no, no censorship here. What, what are your thoughts? Because a lot of normally people are like, well, uh, sometimes Hollywood doesn't care about us. Well, you know, what do you care about? You know, it doesn't really matter. And you're not concerned. <laughs> you're just here for the entertainment. Yes. That's <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, well, I don't want to keep up too much of your time, but since you did see. Blue Beetle, what would you give it out of 1 in 10? 1 out of 10. I guess a 7, maybe. 7, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, mainly just because I'm not into those type of movies. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I really appreciate you participating. It means a lot. Uh, help my channel tonight. So thanks a lot. And I'll give you... Uh, my, my viewers said it would be weird, but if you want to pick some movie candy, I just went the Giant Eagle. Swedish fish, <laughs> that's a great pick. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. I hope you have a great night. You too, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, sir, so I, I heard you just saw Blue Beetle. You're a big superhero fan? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Um, what do you think of the superhero genre altogether? Because I am too. I love Marvel, DC. Do you think they're, they're still firing all cylinders? Do you see any issues with the, the superhero movies? Well, I, when it comes down to Blue Beetle itself, uh, when I watched it, uh, there were some things that was interesting that they, okay. you know, they just took it off from the comic book, like they just went away from it. But eventually he becomes extremely good friends with Batman, so I thought at the very end of the movie there was going to be a cameo, but there was Yeah, there wasn't. well, it's because of the uncertainty with DC. And that's probably one of the final questions I'll ask you is, uh, I'm a huge DC fan. Yeah, how do you, I'm how upset about that, too. I'm very upset that they want a different direction and start doing the younger versions that's I, to me i don't i, I snyder bro uh, you okay. like the Zack snyder cut i i think it is yeah but here what i'm trying to say is the people before you know the ones yeah. that were running it i was agreeing to what they were doing and i was okay. getting into what they were doing and for the way they treated superman wasn't right oh like um i for one also went to see black adam right away yeah i was happy to see cavill back and that the or you did you have attachment to him as the character? And uh, no, I, I basically just wanted to go see it only because The Rock was there. 
I like The Rock as well. That, that's basically the reason why I wanted to go, you know, see the movie. Um, I thought to myself, how is he going to fit into the DC world, mm -hmm. and how is he going to fit into like the Shazam family? Yeah. So that's what got me. I really I mean? liked seeing the um, the JSA, Doctor Fate, uh, Hawkman. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty disappointed they might not be continuing. Right. Do you know? Do you know much about that with James Gunn? A little bit, not much. No. Okay. No. But you know what I mean. When it comes to Marvel itself, I believe ever since Stan Lee passed away, things are starting to go in a weird direction. Now I understand that when he was there, there were five, six, seven years in advance of what he was doing. Yeah. But now it's to the point where you're wondering which direction are they going to start going now? Yeah. You know, because it was always a concern. I mean, you know, there, there's so many of those, like time, you know, dimension things. You know, even with the Flash or whatever else. You know, always go into the one dimension to the other dimension, you know what I mean? And different yeah. Earths. So, make a long story short, I mean, I, I like the idea of both of them, and I, I don't mind watching a lot of the superheroes itself. Mm -hmm. So, I would really like to see them bring out a movie. I know it never happened, but the movie where the, co uh, the comic books went DC versus Marvel. Oh, James Gunn hinted at that. that if, I would I would have liked that. If there was anyone that could do it, he probably could because he worked at Marvel first and he knows all the people there. That That's a big ask, but yeah. He's yeah. actually hinted, I would like to do that in the future. Right, and so. then I just saw recently, I think it's on HBO Max, uh, the one where I think it's Justice League and uh, was it RWPY, the anime? Oh, the okay. The girl with the real big axe thing that looks like the Reaper. Okay, I, and, and I then missed that one. Then there's her sister and then two other people that's in there. I just started watching that anime like two days ago. Okay. And it looks kind of interesting. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how they put DC with it. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how they could do that, you know what I mean? But that's going to be interesting in the future, too. Okay. Um, final questions is what would you give Blue Beetle 1 out of 10? And then also, is there anything else, because I know you love superhero movies, anything else that's interesting to you? Lately. Well, I like the idea. I mean, for Blue Beetle, I'd give it a seven. Seven? I mean, they could have did a lot more to it. Yes. And I feel like they just, okay, we're just going to bring this product out real quick and then, then see if anybody likes it, okay? Uh, I don't think they put a lot of effort into it. I mean, if he's if he's on DC side, somehow, some way, he should have been able to run into somebody, even yeah. with him wearing a Gotham shirt. You know, you Gotham like something Oscar. to be connected? You said yes, that, that yes. helps. Yes. I think that helps with box office. Yes, it does. I think I think people res respond to that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Any other movies like sci-fi or anything? Well, you know, I can't wait for the, the Captain America too. Oh, okay. And the, I mean, not Captain America, Captain Marvel. Oh, okay. You know, because she, you know, when you think about it, I really liked that when, with the, um, what happened was, like it was getting ready to like you know kill the guy. Remember with Iron Man and all that. But she came there, you know, and they were like, okay, if you're all so powerful, why wasn't you oh, here? One of those, those bugs are everywhere yeah. around here. Sorry. And it's, it's like, it's like, you know, if you're all so powerful, why weren't you here in the beginning? And yeah. she's like, you do know you're not the only, you know, living planet here on my universe, you know? Yeah, yeah. So she polices everywhere. So this new one looks pretty good. She's going to give some of her powers to some other people. So that's okay. the one I'm looking forward to seeing. All right. Well, thank you both for your time. I appreciate your yeah. helping me out. Uh, my channel. I'm trying to get my daughter into the superhero I, she, stuff. She mentioned that. She mentioned <laughs> that. She's like, uh, I, I, love I try it, to but, get her into but Star Trek, but she ain't going for that. Oh, so. you're a Trekkie. Yeah. Did you see Picard? Yes, I saw all that. Oh was my good. goodness, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm a casual Trek fan, but that was next level. Yeah. Uh, there, he's gonna be here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you go. It's, it's a lift. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks again for your time. Um, my channel is Movie Madness Entertainment if you want to check out the video later. It's up to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. YouTuber, right? Yes, I'm a huge YouTuber. No, <laughs> I have like getting close to 6K. Uh, okay. That's decent. Yeah, yeah. All right, so thanks for your help. Well, <laughs> hello, I'm joined here by a, a, a patron of the movie. You just saw Blue Beetle, right? What'd you think of it? It was good. It was good? You like superhero movies a lot? I've seen Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Okay. Um, you're a fan of DC then? Yeah. Okay. If you were going to give it 7 out of 10, what would you give this Blue Beetle movie? A 10. 
A 10. A 10? Wow, that's awesome, man. Is that a 10? 10, I'll tell? Okay. Um, do you guys go to the movies a lot? Uh, I've done a few times. Okay. I was just wondering, because sometimes the, you know, the, the industry is struggling a little bit. What gets people to the movie theater? That's what I was trying to ask people, customers of the I movie. Think, I think, to be honest with you, I think you said what's not bringing people to the theater. Well, there, there's certain movies like, say, Barbie, Oppenheimer, have been doing really good this year, but not a, not a lot of movies have. Uh, Stray's Day and Do Good. What's that? Stray's. Stray? Oh, did you like that too? I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't see it? Okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your movie. I'm happy you're at, you're at the theater. And I saw the creator today. Oh, oh that was amazing. Oh, oh Blue Beetle? Yeah. No, no um, I've seen Blue Beetle. I like it a lot. But it reminds me a lot like Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay. But I saw the creator as a sci-fi movie with AI. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for giving me a quick reaction. I really appreciate it. My channel is Movie Madness and Entertainment if you want to check it out. I'm not a big timer or anything like that. I just thought I'd get out, talk to people. Madness? Movie Madness. How do you spell it? M O V I E. Okay, right out of the theater reaction, um, on the front lines, going to the theater, talking to people, talking to customers. And I have to say, although unfortunately, I was asking for consent to get some reactions for um, the creator. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of declines, but it was a, an amazing movie. I got, I got another reaction to Blue Beetle, though. That was great. I met some great people back there. Um, I have to say, no hyperbolic BS. This, it's a great day to be at the theater because this is one of the days in my life that I saw one of the best science fiction films of all time. I'm talking about, forget <laughs> Christopher Nolan who. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying this surpassed Avatar 1 and 2 for me. I don't want to talk too much about this because I don't want to spoil anything. You need to see it for yourself. You need to be with the people. You need to go and watch this movie. Um, I'm talking about like Kubrick, like um, better than better than anything James Cameron's done lately. And I I love James Cameron. It's it's thought provoking, heartfelt. One of the without spoiling one of the greatest greatest villains I've I've seen. Great acting, thought provoking, and I. There's been some reviews that have said it lacks heart. I don't know. I, I've never felt more attached to some characters. So emotional. Uh, and that's what I was thinking. Ridley Scott. This deserves to be up there with Ridley Scott and one of the best AI movies of all time. And I, I will say this. like If you are intrigued by like Terminator and AI and you want to see an AI war, there, this is brutal. There's some really intense scenes here that um, you don't you won't be able to get with other films so i will try again for another movie um but i would say you need to see this movie you need to see it in a theater you need to see it in an imax and i don't want to break the rules but like turn it to 11 11 out of 10 is what i'm thinking of this film it's amazing so Thank you for watching this quick reaction review. I'll see you next time.